Hello, everyone, and welcome to Left of Meta. The idea behind this series is to highlight some decent to good sets that can be good for either newer players who want a good starting point to work from, or for older players who just want to mess around and look at some of the sets that aren't Reliquin, Sororia, Yolnikrin, and Olarime for their DPS, tanks, and healers. And before we get into the actual sets, a couple of very quick ground rules. First off, these sets will always be Overland PvP crafted sets or base game dungeons. And they will be tested alongside other sets, which will be listed in the video and linked in the description below. For the most part, those sets will be Leviathan from Crypt of Hearts and the Maelstrom Bow for stamina characters, Mother Sorrow from Deshaun and the Maelstrom Staff for Magicka characters, Spell Power Cure and the Master's Resto Staff from White Gold Tower for healers, and Ebon Armory for tanks. This video also contains the Hunding's Rage crafted set from the base game. And with that out of the way, let's roll into today's set. This week's set is Kragith. It drops from Fungal Grotto 1's final boss on Veteran and can be bought from Maj Al Rotten. The head drops from the final boss and the shoulders can be bought from the Undaunted Vendor. This set gives the following benefits. At one item, it gives 1,487 physical penetration, and at two items, when you deal damage, you have a 10% chance to spawn drag limbs that create shockwaves in front of you, dealing 1,345 physical damage every 0.4 seconds for 1.2 seconds. This effect can occur once every 3 seconds. So this set has a couple of relatively boring upsides, I guess? One of them is that it gives penetration, which stamina tunes don't have as much of. The light armor passives give you bonus magicka pen, while the medium armor passives give you weapon damage and weapon critical. So you tend to be a little bit under pen on stamina characters, which is why the default monster set for tanks in a stam group is Tremor Scape just to give that extra penetration to the party. But, this helps a little bit with that. And that's always nice, especially early on when you don't have the CP to make up, for, make up the same amount. The other upside is that it procs on damage. We talked a little bit about this sort of thing way back when in Dragon Guard Elite, for those of you who remember or have watched that video. But you need to deal damage to proc this. That is not a high bar at all. Dragon Guard Elite specifies direct damage from front or side. This specifies deal damage. So any damage you deal to an enemy has a chance to proc this. Which means something like an endless hail dot, a trap, a caltrops, anything like that has a chance to trigger Kraga. This set has a pretty obvious downside that you've probably already figured out based on the set rating and how I worded the last upside, and that's that it doesn't exactly proc often. 10% chance is kind of low sometimes, and in most fights that I ran with this, I tended to have about a 20% uptime, which doesn't seem all that bad until you consider that with something like Selene, you can push for a 50% uptime and pretty much get it consistently. And with that aside, even considering the low uptime, it's not a ton of damage. I mean, sure, it's better than it's better than just running nothing or running say trainee or agility in that space. But you'll probably get more damage out of other monster sets you'll pick up later, or just running two One Piece sets from monster sets. And finally, it's melee range. It doesn't say this, it doesn't tell you it, 
but it only works in a melee cone in front of you. And despite that, it can proc when you are not in melee range. All in all, I would say this is a very good starter set as a DPS monster set. It's easy to earn. I mean, it's Fungal Grotto 1 on Veteran. If you have a high level friend in the game, they can probably just solo it a couple of times with you. If not, if you have a bunch of people who are about 160, you guys should be able to clear Vet Fungal 1 without too much difficulty. And honestly, once you have Kragath on your Stam DPS, that should be good enough to push you to be able to get harder and harder to earn sets, eventually getting you to the point where you can replace Kragath with something better. And everyone has to start somewhere. This is a pretty good place to start. With that said, that's going to be all for this week. Thank all of you for watching, and join us next week where we're going to be talking about Grothdar. I'm sure it's nothing. Anyways, I will talk to you all then, and until then, good luck, have fun, and don't die.